The names I want to talk about today is German names, Irish names, and Native American names. The first name I wanted to bring up is Hanukkah. It is beautiful. It is one of those names that have the same um, ka ending as Jessica, Erica, Danica, and it is a form of Anna, and it means graced with God's favor, favor, sorry, getting tongue-tied, and I love this name, um, I have a cousin named Anna, so I could never use Anna, but we could use Annika if we wanted to. The next thing I want to talk about is Hugo. It is German. And, um, it means bright-minded one and spirited. It's, this one's a little unique for me. I like it. It would probably be more like a guilty pleasure name for me. The next name that I want to talk about is Adelaide. It means of noble kin. It's a good alternative to Adeline, Adelie, or Addison. And the next name, well... Wolfric. The first time I heard this name is on one of the Harry Potter movies. I think this name is strong and unique. And it means wolf ruler. If you like that, you could use it. There's another name similar to it. Wolfgang. And it means... Um, I think the same meaning as Wolfric. And if you think Wolfgang is not usable, you can always use Wolfric. The next name I wanted to talk about is Riley. It's Irish and it means rye clearing. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Rye. Yeah, um, and it is a unisex name. I prefer it on a girl, but I know a couple people with this name that are a boy. So, it, I could see it working on a boy, but to me, it's more for a girl. I love this name. I would use it if it wasn't clashing with mine and my husband's last name. We might end up using it as a middle name if I really, really can't get over this name. But I love it. I've always liked it. Ever since I heard it on a little girl in school. Um... The next name is Connor. I've loved this name ever since that show Angel on TNT. It means wolf lover. I adore this name. The next name is Wari. Wari, I heard this on Gilmore Girls. The meaning is redhead, and it is a unisex name, but I see it more for a girl, because I've only heard it for girls. I've only heard it on girls, I meant, sorry, And but you can use it for boy or girl, just like Riley. The next name is Dakota. 
it means a friend in Native American and it's a tribal name and you can also use the name Cherokee for a little girl because I've heard Cherokee on somebody before um, a friend of a fa friend, family friend named Cherokee and it fits her very well I couldn't really find a meaning for it because all it said was it was a tribal name excuse me but I think it's beautiful the next name is from Boy Meets World it's Topanga it's Native American and it means where the mountain and river meet and the last name I wanted to talk about is Cheyenne Cheyenne it means um, well, I really don't like the meaning. It means somebody speech. You can't really understand what they're saying, basically. And I don't like that because it's, it's I just don't like it. The meaning is, uh, well, I think it's kind of... But if you don't mind about the meanings, you can always use it. Because Cheyenne is a beautiful name. I would love to use it. Just because of the meaning, though, I probably won't end up using it. Because to me, meanings mean a lot to me. And so we probably won't use it. I've always liked the name for a middle name. Like, I compare it with Whisper Cheyenne. And I think that's a gorgeous name. Or something like Dakota Cheyenne. Dakota Cheyenne could work. Or something like, um, let's see. You could use Riley Cheyenne. I mean, it it's a beautiful name. I just not very fond of the meaning. It's, it, but it's beautiful. That's all I wanted to talk about today, it, um, about German and Irish names. I hope you liked this video, and I am so sorry if I kept getting tongue-tied. I'm still nervous. Hopefully, I can get over that soon. Have a good day. Bye.